Now let's build and publish your schedule by selecting Schedule from the left-hand navigation menu. This will automatically show you the current schedule you have. You can fast forward to another week by selecting the right arrow on top of the screen. Here you can choose your preferred view as well. If you have a lot of employees, you may find the list view easier or move back to grid view. To add a shift to the schedule, left click on the box where you'd like to add the shift. You can select a custom shift or choose from the most common shifts for the employee. In this case, I'll take the 11 o'clock shift. On Tuesday, I wanted to add a custom shift. The system lets me enter any time I'd like. I can use the up or down arrows, or I can enter in a time using my keyboard and select AM or PM for the shift. I can also add a custom label to let the employee know what role they're playing. I'll click Add to Schedule and it's all done. I can also easily copy and paste the shift by clicking on the plus sign that's on the top right hand corner. You'll notice it duplicates the shift and I can copy and drag it wherever I'd like, whether it's to the same employee or another employee. I'll finish up building out the shift for this week. Now that my schedule is complete, I'll press the publish button on the top right hand corner of the screen. This lets me choose the option of notifying all of my employees of the new schedule, notifying only those employees that had changes, or not send any notifications out just yet. Once you select this, it will let you know that the schedule has been published. With your schedule complete, I wanted to share some tips on how you can easily copy the schedule and even add the wage forecast. If you feel comfortable with that week's schedule, you can hit Copy To on the top of the screen and select the week that you'd like to copy the schedule to. Once you've selected the week, press Yes to ensure you want to copy the schedule to that week, and the system has now copied it over to the next week. You can make any modifications to the schedule as required. For example, this employee is not going to work on Monday, so I'll delete that shift for Monday. In addition, on Tuesday, I need to change the times for this employee. So I'll select the new times and hit Change Shift. The only other thing I wanted to add was a wage forecast. So I'll select Options from the top of the screen and scroll down and select the wage forecast. Now I can add a wage estimate to the schedule. Using the wage rates I've entered for each employee, I can see how much I'll spend on David for the given week or how much I'll spend for a given day. Don't forget to press Publish to publish your schedule to your employees. And with that, you're all done. If you ever need more help, please feel free to call us at 877-742-2785 or email us at help at joinhomebase.com.